So, robots. What is now considered to be the black sheep of Blue Sky Studios' movies, which isn't fair considering it's their second animated film they ever made. Also, I think it's so strange that all the Blue Sky Studio movies are on Disney Plus except robots. It just boggles my mind on why it's not on the streaming service. That's like having all the Pixar movies on Disney Plus and not having a bug's life in it. But I digress. Anyways, this was a movie that I rarely watched when I was younger, but growing up years later, it's quite a great film. Robots follows the story of Rodney Copperbottom, voiced by Ewan McGregor, who wants to be an inventor after he looks up to his idol, Big Weld, voiced by Mel Brooks. To follow his dreams, he heads to Robot City, where things seem to be different from before due to the villain, Ratchet, and his mother, Madame Gasket, taking over Big Weld's business. However, after bumping into a band of misfits, they must work together to take out Ratchet, find Big Weld, and set things right for the world. The animation looks amazing. The robot designs are quite creative and so cool. Some scenery works really well for even 2005 standards. Robot City looks astounding, with its buildings looking really distinct, and the transportation is quite unique to match the robotic settings. And I love Ratchet's lair, showing its dark atmosphere, the flames coming out of the smoke chimneys, and even the scrap metals and machinery with the sharp edges on the saw blades and the melting metal gives the feeling of how dangerous the factory is. I love Rodney as a character. I love how much of a wide-eyed dreamer he is. Sometimes we're like that when it comes to dream jobs, and I like his humbleness to help others. I really love Rodney's father, Herb, who is easily one of the best animated father characters. I love how supportive he is, and acts as not just emotional support, but also as an inspiration for his son. I also really love the villains in the movie as well. Ratchet is such a humorous, egotistical jerk, and he looks quite menacing. I also like the design they gave to the mother, not just with the steam puffing from the head and orange glowing eyes, but also the rusty looking lips that I swear I thought was a mustache. I also like the supporting characters in the movie too. Fender comes as a great comedic character in the story and makes a good best friend for Rodney. Rest in peace, Robin Williams. As for the others, they're likeable and they make a good team to help Rodney out, even if some of them doubt themselves. And then there's Aunt Fan, or Fanny if you're America. She's quite a fun robot. There was even one time where Blue Sky Studios had started a competition where anyone could audition for a voice role in the movie. That was quite a good idea. What I love the most about this movie is the moral of pursuing your dreams. If you put enough effort into pursuing them, you can achieve anything. If you put enough effort into it, it can make a great difference. Then there's Big Weld. At first, I hated the scene where he tells Rodney to give up, but then after rewatching the scene, it's more thought-provoking than I realized. We all have people we look up to from time to time, but then when we meet them for ourselves, they may not be as legendary as we build them up to be and they can just be normal people like us, and sometimes they can let you down. However, there are also times where the roles are reversed, and we can inspire our own idols. I really love how robots illustrate how following your dreams is important and achievable by showing the viewer how famous people are just like you and me, therefore we can be famous too. While the humor can be childish sometimes, that can be a turnoff for some people, there are still slapstick that can really get a laugh out of you. I highly recommend you watch Robots with its lovely animation, clever writing, and brilliant story. Therefore, I give Robots a 9 out of 10 with the ribbon of awesomeness. So tune in next time, as for the next video, I'll be reviewing the first sequel Blue Sky Studios made.